I'll be right with you. There, there we go. Lifesavers. It's called electronic tuner. How many times have you gone to a show and you waited 20 minutes while the guitar player couldn't tune his guitar? <laughs> Today we have Peter Daddario and Phil Carnavale from the Daddario Company and Planet Waves to talk about tuners, capos, and all kinds of stuff you need to have at the gig so you don't take 20 minutes between songs. Thank you, gentlemen, for being with us. Thanks for having we're us. We're here. I'm sorry. I'm Jack Van Vreen from Guitar Showcase, and we're making music. Tell me a little bit about the Planet Waves line and how it came to be. Sure. Um, Planet Waves is a, is a part of the Daddario company. Daddario uh, Strings um, was the original company, and, and Planet Waves uh, is our instrument accessory company, more so much for... Uh, guitars and, uh, and basses and fretted instruments. Um, the Planet Waves was a, a company that was owned by a, um, a, 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 there was basically a strap company and they were famous for their lizard straps. And ah, Dario purchased the Planet Waves company in 1998 and has expanded it to a full line of musical instrument accessories. Cool. Uh, so, well, you just answered all three of my questions right there. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about new products because I, when I first became aware of Planet Waves, it was the straps. Right. And then a few other things showed up, and you guys seem to come up with new products almost every other month. It's it, you know what? I think what, it, what Planet Waves comes down to is we wanted to offer things to players that maybe, maybe things that they've been using all along, but add something to it that may, was maybe a little bit unique. Some of our products offer that. Yeah. And, and that's what Planet Waves is all about. And frankly, when it comes down to the acquisitions that Daddario has made, because we're much more than a string company these days, um, Planet Waves kind of fit right into that. Here, here we buy a guitar strap company, and we expand the line to all kinds of accessories, really, really to help people make music and, and to uh, be better prepared for the gig and things of that nature. So some of the new products we, uh, that we're offering now are, are right here in front of us, and um, you know, maybe I'll just let you start with them there. Sure, we have, I mean, we've, we have lots of exciting new products. We have a, a team of, of engineers and designers, um, product development folks in our, in our offices in New York that are just amazing people and just coming up with ideas, uh, constant, continuous ideas. And uh, we have lots of great new stuff. And uh, I guess I'd like to talk about our tuners a little bit because... Because um, that's the newest thing. That is the newest thing, and, and it's For really exciting. We've got some really unique stuff. I mean, there's lots of tuners out there. There's lots of Me Too products as well, but um, we have some really exciting stuff. Uh, our latest, newest neat gadget is this SOS tuner, strobe on string. Yeah, let's see. Actually, let's see if I can make this work. I'm just, this is my first time I've played with this thing. So it it's, looks like a guitar pick, and I think with this camera here, we can get in close, and you turn it to the string you're gonna tune, It'll work in, in standard e-tuning. Um, and since I was in D-tuning, if we get a little, I'm gonna try and work with the camera so you can see the lights bouncing off the string. Sure. And when the, when the lights stop bouncing, I'm in tune. Oh, I went too far. And the nice thing about this type of tuner is it doesn't require me to be plugged in and it's not dependent on the acoustic properties of the guitar. It's a, on the vibrations of the string. So if I'm in a noisy bar in Avalon and there's all kinds of stuff going on, I can still be in tune. That's, that's if you were in a room with 100 other acoustic guitars all strumming at the same time and you tried to tune your guitar with that tuner, you wouldn't have any problem because it's really just reading the vibration of the string. It's not listening to anything, which is, which is tremendous. Yes. And, you know. we, we also have one for bass. And, and if you think about this, this is a strobe tuner um, that's 
very inexpensive. So it's got the accuracy, it's plus or minus 0.3 of a cent, if I remember correctly. What, what's the street price on something like this? Uh, we're, we're seeing street prices out there of about $15. Well, for a tuner, a strobe tuner, the most accurate type of tuner, fits in your pocket, mm -hmm. doesn't turn on and off accidentally, so it doesn't wear out. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Well, for parents who are um, buying their, uh, their child a guitar, perhaps, and maybe they're not players themselves, this is a great way to uh, teach your kid how to tune his instrument and learn um, simple. And, 15, yeah. and at, at, at the price, it's, it's wonderful. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's, and tuning the guitar for a beginning student is the hardest thing. And they'll play a guitar out of tune and go, I'm terrible, when it's really <laughs> they're playing it right, it's just the guitar. And they just don't know any better. That was just one of the six tuners that we have. We have a, a quite, a, quite a few of them here. You were uh, plugged into our, our pedal tuner, which is a tremendous new product for us and has been highly successful. Um, it's designed for, for anybody who's plugged in, electric or, or acoustic, and it is a, is a strobe or sweep tuner, um, which means you can read it either way. And um, it's a true bypass as well, so you can leave your guitar running through that and back out the other side, and you're not going to experience any loss of tone at all, which is the case with lots of other pedal tuners that are yeah. not true bypasses. And, this it, is and it weighs about eight pounds. This is, <laughs> yeah. you know. I, I think technically it's three pounds, if I remember. <laughs> well, it's, it, it's awfully heavy. It's, it's almost right. as much as my Les Paul. And the yeah. idea, of course, is as you're stepping on it on stage, you're not going to be tipping it over or things of that nature. Yeah, or if you kick it across the stage, you know, it will break what it runs into as opposed to the other case. Yeah, it's extremely <laughs> durable. We've gotten calls from bands that we sell to, Guitar Showcase, they're out touring and they're, they break their tuner. Send me another one, you know. <laughs> we don't get calls for this one. That, that's currently the, uh, the fastest growing uh, chromatic pedal tuner on the market right now. And street price on this? Um, we're seeing street price of approximately, I believe it's $89. Really? That's, that's really cheap for this type of tuner. Mm -hmm. yeah, considering the, the other competition that's out there is priced higher and has less features in it and isn't a true bypass as well, which is one of the, the great features on that, which uh, any electric guitar players who gig will appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, another feature we should talk about is it, it comes with a 9-volt battery, but at the same time, you can also... Um, uh, you can have a 9-volt adapter a plug, uh, plugged into it. You can daisy chain uh, for the rest of your pedal board. So it doesn't just rely on a 9-volt battery. Very good. Yeah, one thing I wanted to talk about just because um, the thing that I like about Planet Waves is they take a simple thing like a string winder, which we use to wind our strings. And once you're done putting the strings on, you go, where's my wire cutters? I had my wire cutters around here, and there they are. Right. Mm -hmm. And now you've taken it a step further, which of course after, this by the way is my personal one. I've had this for about four oh. years now. <laughs> and uh, I don't just talk about these, I actually use these products. Uh, we got our wire cutter, we got our winder, and we got a tuner, which is not making any, let's see, get a noise here. Come on. There you go. Spin for me. There you go. It's so, because when you're restringing a guitar, what do you have to do? You have to tighten it, mm -hmm. you have to cut it, and you've got to get it to pitch. All in one handy little package. Yeah, absolutely, and you may have to pop the ball, the ball ends off of your acoustic guitar. And this is slotted right here to pop those ball ends off as, as needed. This is also slotted for both a guitar or a mandolin, so it will work for a mandolin. Um, and the other feature on this is also a string stretcher right here. So lots of folks, as they, as they tune their instrument, uh, as they bring their instruments to tune, they like to stretch the strings out as they go. So this is a simple string stretcher as well as you bring it into tune. Let's see if we get that a little bit higher up so we can get a bit clearer shot. Sure. Yeah, and that is a key part. A lot of people don't understand restringing guitars. You have to stretch them. Everybody always complains about the ubiquitous Fender Stratocaster never being in tune. It's because they never took the time to stretch the strings and get it in tune in the first place and, and with a street, tools like this. Yeah, and a street place of $10 for the Pro Winder without the tuner uh, you know, it's, it's really an essential tool for, well, for many mu for musicians. We've sold over a quarter million of those. In the well, you last, saw how upset I was at lunch when I thought I'd lost it. <laughs> I didn't know what we were going to do. I thought we were going to have to cancel the show. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, that's one of the first things that uh, Jim D'Addario came up with after Planet Waves was purchased and we started expanding accessories. Absolutely. It was yeah. one of the first unique accessories we did. And it's such a simple idea, but we're godsend. Now, this is new. Indeed. Very. It's our dual action capo. We've come out with, uh, in the last year, we've now come out with two capos. This is the, this is the latest 
And this is a, a tremendous capo. Well, it looks a lot like a, another well-known brand of capo. Let's put it against the background that you can see it against. <laughs> uh, trigger action, which I like, but the challenge I, because I own one of those other brand capos, and the spring is getting a little bit, and I was just talking to my wife the other day going, you know, I'm gonna have to buy another one. And yet this one has the adjustment right here. So I never have to worry about the string, spring tension getting old because I've had the other one about 10 years. Right. Now that fine adjustment that you're, you're holding there, that's an 18 to one gear ratio. And it closes or opens very slightly um, in varying degrees just based on what you need for tension against the guitar. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And for those who don't know what a capo is, it allows me to play the same song anywhere. I once spent three hours learning how to play a, a certain artist's song in all the different positions because it modulated three times and then I saw him play it and he was just doing this, <laughs> which kind of upset me. <laughs> and it's also aircraft aluminum, so it makes it very light. So yes. as, you, as you have it on the guitar, there's not a lot of weight that's added at all. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I'll just keep this one for me. <laughs> the, the second of the cables that, we, that we've come up with is, uh, was co-designed by Jim Daddario and Ned Steinberger. It's called the NS Capo. Um, with a street price of a th around twenty dollars, fifteen dollars, it's a tremendous simple capo. Just slips right on. Slips right on. You dial it in, and you're good to go. And the capos are a great example of how uh, the Planet Waves uh, thinks and how how we do things. These are none of these products are duplicates of other products out there. This is completely unique. This NS capo. When we came up with this capo. It may look like one of our competitors' capos, but there's lots of other small features that make it better, including, like you said, the 18 to 1 gear ratio and dialing it down like that make it better. So essentially, Plant Waves takes and looks at the market and says, well, that's close, but it's not quite right, and you make it right. Cutters with a winder, tuners with the cutters and the winder, mm -hmm. trigger capos that are adjustable. Right. Oh, this is great. And what sim else is simple it? things like a, like this guitar headstand that you have here. Um, you know, people work on instruments on their laps. People work on instruments uh, on workbenches, on their kitchen table. And they're always fighting the fact that the body's here and the neck's falling off, falling off the edge. Or yeah. They're not able to, yeah, exactly. And then that's difficult to work on it. Okay, all you people don't cringe. That it's my guitar, so I can do what I want to. <laughs> But yeah, this just makes it much more stable and easier right. to do the string winding and all that good stuff. A lot of it's just simple stuff like that. Simple stuff that, um, that makes sense for musicians. Smart tools, we call them. Exactly so. And they all fit in a gig bag or a guitar case because this folds up so nicely. Absolutely. There you go. Into a very simple package. Both of these will fit in a string pouch with a couple of set of Daddario XP fit, mm -hmm. EXPs. Mm -hmm. Very nice stuff. That's right. So, um, You've got some new stuff, uh, other new stuff. I uh, see this packaging over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. This right here, this is a very unique product, kind of revolutionary. This is called our, our Humida Pack. And that's part of the kit there. And then also, Jack, if you want to maybe hold one of those up, I guess. Okay, so humidity. Uh, you hear about people talking about, but you get a feeling a lot of people when they talk about it, they don't really know what they're just saying. Yeah, humidity is bad. No, humidity is good. What is it really all about when you're talking about acoustic guitars? Because that's the primary thing. Although electric guitars can be victimized as well. Sure, sure. It's, it's about controlling the humidity in your case. And what you're really holding up here is a humidity control system. We do have a line that uh, of, of humidity control products that include a, a, a simple guitar humidifier, which will humidify your guitar case. Uh, and we have a, t a humidity temperature sensor control, which you can put in your case and read uh, what the humidity is in the case and what, what the temperature is. But what this is is a whole system. And optim the optimum humidity level that you want in your case to keep your instrument stable is 45%. What these packs will do is they'll keep, what these packs do is they, they will keep the environment that they're in at 45%. So as we've, op we've, we've opened this up and activated it, this is now working to make this entire room 45% humidity. Which it, is gonna be quite a job. Which it won't be able to room. do on its own. But when we take three of them and we put them in a guitar case and we put one in this bag and we put that up by the headstock and we put two in the other bag and put it down by the sound hole by the body of the guitar, well, we're then, not gonna activate all three of these, but I'm gonna stick this in this pad. Right. Happen. Right. 
to have a guitar case right here. There we you go. Happen to. All right, I so. just happen to have. Perfect. And with the environment changing as it does, you know. I, so this one, this one's going to go up here. Up here, and mm -hmm. that just lays. It can just lay there. It's it's uh, it won't hurt anything. Stuff. Correct. Right. That would be fine. And then we would put two more pads in this. Correct. Right. And, and that this, acts as like a saddlebag. Well, or I grabbed the wrong guitar because I don't it, have it a It doesn't matter. You can lay it down on the body of the guitar. It's not going to do anything to it. Or you can put it down in here as well in, in the case. Um, and then I close this up. And these packs, they sense, because they're, they sense if there's too much moisture in the guitar, they're going to absorb that moisture. Mm -hmm. Right. And if there's not enough moisture, it's going to let it out. So I don't have to worry about whether my guitar is at 58% or 38% or whatever. This humidity packs, where's that? This stuff just snows. Exactly. Exactly. Which is wonderful. Now, the thing about this, you can use this if you're living in Hawaii, or you can use this if you're living in, in a dry part of the, of the, the country as well. It doesn't right. matter. Um, one thing I want to point out, you might notice we had this, this bag here, and why don't you hold that there? And inside that bag was a smaller packet. Now, the reason we have that bag is to protect the smaller packet. The smaller packet does have a shelf life once that larger packet is opened up. Because it immediately starts activating the material. Right. It exactly. starts absorbing or releasing as needed. Exactly. While it's in this pack, it's in inert. So right. these can sit on the shelf for years and That's right. not exactly. a problem. Now, after approximately 90 to 120 days, the small packet that you've got inside the guitar case is going to begin to get kind of crunchy. That's when the player knows it's time to get it replaced. It, it actually crystallizes. Because it's, it's because as you use stuff, you know, right. if you take a piece of metal, bend it a bunch of times, it'll break. Right. As this chemical property in here is absorbing and releasing, it gets to a point where it says, okay, I've, I've done all I can. And uh, you can see it's real squishy right now. Right. Yeah. But it'll eventually become hard, and then you replace it. Exactly. And what we want to point out here is that it's not made of, there's no water in there. It's a special type of gel saline, uh, saline solution that we use. Yeah. Um, so this isn't going to drip on my guitar. Absolutely and not. Not leak. You're right. Mm -mm. Which, and that's part of what makes it revolutionary, along with the two-way humidification system that, in in the way that it works there. So. And if you've got yourself a five thousand dollar Martin or Taylor or a Ovation, something that's a fairly significant investment, mm. and. With these guitars, we're talking investment now, the way guitars are going up in prices. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. This is a really minor expense to make sure your top doesn't crack or your neck doesn't get, the frets pop out because the board gets so dry. Um, and, and speaking with the guitar manufacturers, um, a lot of them, they are just, they love this product because they get so many instruments back that are damaged because they're in an overly humid environment or they're in too dry of an environment and the top will crack or some of the problems that you discussed there. Yeah. Um, this is really something that's being endorsed by, um, by some of the manufacturers out there really happy with this and are, are starting to put them in their cases as they sell their well, instruments. Well, we, we do take care of our customers at Guitar Showcase as best we can. And so we're selling a lot of these because the manufacturers in recent years have just finally said, no more. We're not going to eat the cost because you're not taking care of your instruments. Okay. Here in Santa Clara County, we are blessed with a fairly stable humidity and temperature. It's not like in Arizona where you have a you know 50 degree temperature swing and you have no humidity. Sure. Or up in Seattle where you've got a 50 degree temperature swing and a 50 degree humidity swing as well. Right. Uh, and when I recently lived in Portland for a while, I saw a cracked guitar every day. Yeah. yeah. You know? So. Well, so something to think about too, even in places where humidity is fairly stable and decent for guitars, if you're um, air conditioning a house things of that nature. There, there are things that will make your home dry. Oh, absolutely. Um, so that's in it, Portland, for sure. Yeah. Very humid, uh, humid location, but everybody has the AC cranked. Sure. So right. the guitars would come in cracked. Right. All the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very cool all stuff. All right. So that's revolutionary. We're really proud of that one. Now, we got these wires here. Cables. Planet Waves cables. We have a couple things here that we'd like to talk about. And you know, the thing about Planet Waves cables, again, we wanted to come up with something a little bit unique. And the way that we, we make our cables, we feel like we offer a tremendous value to players. The major thing that we shoot for with our cables is something that we call transparent sound. 
The idea is what comes out of your guitar is what comes out of your amp. The signal is, is not processed in any way or colored in any way. Right. Um, we feel that there are some less expensive cables out there where uh, maybe some of the high end of your sound might be rolled off a bit or there may be some other coloration. Um, what we do with our cables is just give the player what they put into it is exact, exactly what comes out. So we feel that the player should color their sound with the strings they use, the guitar that they use, the amplifier they use, but, but not the cable. So that's what we're trying to shoot for here. And I, I'd like to get a, a shot of this, this back if I could. Maybe you could hold that up, Jack. Yeah. Um, th there are a few things there. I've been studying with Vanna. She's done oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you can see a, a few things there. Um, what, one of the things I'd like to point out it, that's kind of unique, most cables are going to fail at the solder joint. That's in this area right here that I'm pointing at. Okay? And we have in there, we have a, um, a copper cylinder that we've put in there and we inject it with uh, like a plastic type material that's a little bit um, liquidy when it goes in and it solidifies in place. Um, and what that does, that does a couple things. First, it protects the cable in there against any kind of outside interference where most cables are unprotected. Right. But the main reason we do that is to protect the solder joint of the cable. So it's kind of relieves some of the stress because guys are pulling their cables Th out? There's that, exactly. It basically makes it bulletproof. Now you'll also notice down here, if we still have a shot of this, you'll also notice um, this strain relief that we've got right here. Yeah. Again, th for our custom series cable, of which this is one of our custom series cables, the strain relief that we've got there is really second to none. And we feel that, that there are a lot of great things yeah, for that, just to, to offer some kind of strain relief for the cable, keep it going, yeah. that type of I, thing. I've used these cables on occasion um, after using the cheaper, you know, here, come free with a guitar. And it's interesting <coughs> that I've had to readjust my amp tones. Right. Because right. I got more sound. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Now, uh, there is something else I'd like to point out here, if I, if I could. Um, let's see, can we get a shot of this yeah, there again? We go. Okay, there we go. Now, on this side, right here, you'll notice we have its foil within a braid. Okay, that, that's, that covering over the, the core of the, um, of the cable is designed, again, to keep out any kind of outside interference in terms of, of noise or other signals or things of that nature. It's basically impenetrable. That's the idea behind the cable. So very quiet. Yep. Very transparent. Exactly. And one other thing I'd like to point out, right here, right at the cable tip, if we can get, get in kind of close on this. I know that. There we go. There we go. Right That's here. These are called compression springs. The idea behind this is when it goes into the jack, it doesn't move around and cause static, cause any kind of noise. It doesn't pull out accidentally, things of that nature. That is very unique to Planet Waves. In fact, we have a patent on that. Very cool. Okay. So they're not going to actually fall out of the guitar. Yeah, that's the idea behind it. Well, the great thing about these is, is that if anything happens to them at all, they're 100% money-back guarantee and guaranteed for life. So if you bought this cable at a store like Guitar Showcase today and came in 10 years from now, something were to happen to it, it were to short out, or let's say that by accident your 10-year-old kid cut it with a wire. No questions asked, mail it back to us and we'll get you a new one. Or could you, I take that to any Planet Waves dealer? You, you could. You could take it to any Planet Waves dealer. What we've... It, explain to our dealers is just give them another one off of your shelf and then we will deal with you as a dealer to get you a, a replacement cable and, and we've been really good at it. I mean, well, our really store has been around for 40 years. Mm -hmm. We plan to be around for another 40 years and I know the D'Addario company has been around for nine generations so you guys are going to be around so this is actually a warranty that means something. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. And I, I don't think a lot of people put a lot of time in, in selecting their cables. I think a lot of people just They'll spend money on the cheapest cable out there, but remember, you get what you pay for. And, and for these cables, they'll have a street price of anywhere from, you know, maybe, I don't know, $36 on up. So you're going to spend a little bit more, but you're getting more value for your dollar. Well, a guy comes in and he spends two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 on electric guitar, which they can do. Mm -hmm. And then they'll spend another $1,500 on a nice high-end tube amplifier to get that sound. And then they'll walk over to the $2 cables. Right. And then come back next week and says, it doesn't sound right. Yeah. Well, you need to <laughs> invest yeah. proportionately. That's sure. Right. The guy's buying a $100 guitar and a $10 amplifier, a $5 cable's probably a reasonable expenditure because the amplifier's not going to reproduce what he's wanting to hear anyway. Mm -hmm. 
But if you're buying a Les Paul or a Stratocaster or a Satriani, some high-quality electric guitar, or a Martin or a Taylor with it, you know, where you've got a $500 pickup system in there, and you put a $10 cable on it and go, what happened? Right, exactly. And it goes back to the humidity packs. You sell such beautiful product, beautiful guitars and instruments in your stores. For someone to spend five, four, three, four thousand, five thousand dollars plus on an acoustic guitar and decide and not protect it properly, or not use a good cable and make it sound good, um, you know, then what? You know, it's it's lost. You know? Yeah, exactly. So we're we're tr doing our best, and one of the things we'll be doing with this show is helping people to understand that your ensemble of equipment is important it's mm -hmm. not just and how important these all little tools that just make it easier for you to focus on what we're trying to do which is make music you know that's right just try to make it easier for for folks to make music and and make it fun and and accessible and, and simple that's exactly it. so mm -hmm. well we're running i think we've got a couple more minutes here how are we doing there we got one more minute. Okay. Tell you what, right. I'm going to make just a little bit more music for everybody here. Right. That sounds great. great. Thanks so much for having us, Jack. Yeah, we, Thank appreciate you, Peter. we appreciate it. Thank you, it. Phil. Thank you.